In 2016, I went to London in the UK to visit my family and to attend the Salute Wargaming show there. And along the way, I bumped into a couple of local Melbourne guys in the Brunei airport. They're from Manor Press, and I'll leave a link to their Facebook and website in the description below. We spent a lot of time together, and they ended up buying me a gift. G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. This is not the scheduled video that I was planning to put out last week and then again this week, but it just made sense. When I got home from work the other night, I saw a video by Elston over at Elston Nation, and there's a link in the description if you want to watch that video where he was talking about what stops you or what scares you about painting miniatures. And specifically, he was talking about painting miniatures that are given to you as a gift. Now, this figure has been sitting around since 2016. And tonight when I got home from work, I saw a video by Steve over at Top Table Gaming where he was painting the new Treebeard miniature from Games Workshop. And those two videos together, you know, it just clicked. I need to get this figure painted. And so I'll quickly smash this out on Thursday night. I'll sit down, throw the camera on and paint up this miniature that was given to me by my friends over at Manor Press five years ago and that's been sitting on my shelf for five years. I don't know why I hadn't painted this miniature. It's certainly not a difficult miniature to paint. I wasn't scared of it. You know, I do have some figures, you know, big dragons and stuff like that that are scary, they're intimidating. But this was an easy miniature. It's a tree, it's mostly bark, a bunch of dry brushing, some washes. And you know, having it just sitting there on the shelf all these years, I, I, I've got no excuse. And after I watched Steve's video the other day, where you know he was talking about why are you not painting miniatures or what stops you from painting miniatures that are given to you as a gift? And there was some really interesting commentary in that video. So I didn't mind having to duck out during the middle of the night to go and get a base so I could finish this miniature not just for me, but, you know, also for the guys from Manor Press who gave me this miniature, who I'm sure would love to see, you know, painted pictures of the model that they, you know, went out of their way to buy me. It really feels good having this miniature painted now. You know, I still do feel bad that it's taken me so long to get this done, but it's nice to have it finished. A it adds a completed model to my collection, but B, he's going to get used either in games of Middle Earth strategy battle game or, you know, when I can get Ara over here or go catch up with him and play some tribal or some Middle Earth strategy battle game or something. This guy's going to get used and it's nice to finally have him done, not just because he's going to get used, but because he was a gift and I can show pictures to Ara and the rest of the guys who gave this figure to me so many years ago. That's going to feel really nice. Have you got miniatures in your collection that people have given you over the years that, you know, you've just done nothing with? Maybe you've assembled them and packed them away, put them in a box or, you know, haven't even opened the box maybe even. Do you, do you have figures like that? And if so, why haven't you painted them? Are you waiting for, you know, that figure to slot into your schedule of, you know, painting? Or are you legitimately afraid to paint it like I am with some of my dragons? Or are you just wanting to make sure that you can do the best possible job? Because if it's the latter, I think you should just get it painted. It doesn't really need to be painted to the best possible standard. If it's just a gift that someone is giving you for you to enjoy the hobby because as Steve mentioned in his video and I think it's certainly worthwhile you know having a look through you know certainly his most recent videos uh, some wonderful commentary there that you know it's not just a gift for you but a gift for the person who has given it to you now the guys from Manor Press are obviously involved in the industry 
but my wife, for example, isn't. She doesn't know a great deal about miniature gaming. She she puts up with my hobby and, you know, me sitting here in my, you know, garage painting toy soldiers. But she doesn't know anything about it. But she's given me gifts in the past. She's gone out of her way, spoken to people she doesn't know, you know, got wrapped up in this weird little world that we have of, you know, sitting down and painting figures. You know, me, I'm in my 40s. Most of the people that I know are, you know, in their 40s, late 30s. You know, we're weird people. And I think that, you know, it to do it justice, you know, you just need to paint it. It doesn't need to be perfect. So sit down, find some time in your schedule and get those gifts painted, get those miniatures painted and enjoy seeing the joy on their faces when you can show them the completed models. You know, I can't wait to catch up with the guys from Mana Press and use this guy in a game. I hope you're all keeping well. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you soon. So yeah.